here at the Outlaw Few Altar. It's beautiful, Den, Texas. I'm talking to one of the stars of the association, Do Dad. Do Dad, you're one of the personalities of this group that a lot of people say are responsible for the success. People with you with a great personality, they said it makes them want to come out and race. I hope so. Uh, the whole group's a great personality, really. Everybody, all the crew people and everybody, you can't ask for a better group of people. Now, people come from all over. Where's your home? We're from uh, Tyler, Texas. I actually live on Lake Palestine. Okay, so you're not that far, but I understand people come from Oklahoma and all over the place. Yeah, yeah they do. We draw crowds from probably three or four states over, probably. Now, one of the things that people have talked about, oh, yeah, they talk about this beautiful car of yours. They talk about how fast you run. They talk about this mailbox right here, how you put this mailbox out and you give free candy to all the kids and, well, all the pretty girls as well. I know Diana might came by. Yeah, 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 but, uh, you know, the pretty girls had to be careful because my girlfriend Susie kind of watches over all that. You know, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of. Well, it's just candy. It's That's candy. all it is, Susie. Yeah, it's candy. It's candy. Yes, candy. <laughs> now, uh, you're, you're running pretty good. How fast has the car gone? What's your fastest ET? 414 and 100, almost 175. So. Now, this tonight, you weren't out here last night testing, right? No, my crew side they're not going to strike because it's so hot out here. We're having this heat wave right now. Yeah, yeah. We don't have a shower and a trailer, and I figure that's about two days' worth. It just, you know, <laughs> we will be getting along real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, tonight, hopefully you'll do well. I think it's cooling down a little bit. I think it's in the low 105, 106. Yeah, low 105, 106. Yeah, yeah it's uh, Lewis Green, which is actually one of my crew guys that does the airbus. He did the mailbox and the golf cart and the car. And he's done a couple other cars out here, too, so he's really a talented guy. And then I got Howard Ferris, Ferris Racing Engines, which is in Springtown, Texas. He used to be the owner of the car, and that's the one that's got the sticker on the car. And he does all my machine work and helps me with stuff. And he comes out here and helps us tune and stuff like that. So Must be a really a great guy to go to for work. Yeah, I guess so. Man. He's, <laughs> and then, you know, I got to thank all my crew, too. I got my crew chief, uh, Keith Miller, man. He's, he's helped me more than anybody. You know, he's, he used to work for Marriott a while back, so he brought a lot of knowledge over with him. And... Of course, I got Susie, my, my better half. and Well, you got to give her credit, you know, because there we go, Susie. It's always better with a pretty girl in the picture. Roger, Paulette, Carson, there's a couple friends of mine that like to come. Uh, Steve Welch is a friend of ours, of course, Lewis, and his wife, Tammy. So, you know, it's a pretty diverse side group. I mean, we have a it is, I couldn't do it without all them. And, you know, they're out here in 105 degree heat. You couldn't ask for any better friends than that. That's a true test of friendship, you know, come out here and then. You know, you couldn't ask for better buddies. Come out here and sweat with you for something, you know. So I tell you, anybody can be a buddy for with you when everything's great. But when it's 105 and you got to get out here and work on the asphalt, that's when you really know. Now, I noticed you also said something about uh, in memory of or? Yeah, that's my mom. My mom was a big drag race nut. and uh, I, I was born into a racing family. My mom and dad drag race, and I hung out when I was a toddler. My brother was born i guess my mom was carrying him when she drove sometimes so her and my dad are actually really instrumental in this stuff and she passed away about four years ago but and she i've got a memory of all my cards in the car because she was really a, a big big part of why i still do this well she's probably real proud of you because you got a beautiful looking operation the car looks great runs good and you're very well respected by all your fellow competitors well thank you and that's a great group of competitors too we couldn't do it that like Bobby and Nancy Marriott doing what they do, putting this stuff together, and, and everybody. I mean, we're all a big family, and you can't ask, ask for any more than that. I mean, I see people loaning people parts to fix and run the next round. I mean, everybody, you can interview anybody out here, and, and nobody has anything bad to say about anybody because that's what makes this deal work so so well. We'll do that, hopefully. Now, tonight we're going to be filming all you guys, but hopefully tonight, tonight would be a great night for you to put that car in the final round, you be, you know, come out, get that wind light, and then uh, maybe we can interview you as the the, the night's winner. Well, I gotta do one shout out, shout out too, please, All right. for Sean Bell. Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, is it? Trouble, trouble, trouble. We yang yang back and forth. You want to show up and enjoy this nice Texas heat with us? Now, now, what's the deal? He called in on the show and was talking, and he's a big talker. But I don't see him out here where it really matters. He, he, he's scared to come down to Texas anymore. We got to go to Missouri to meet him. You know, it's this oh, he's yeah. chicken. He won't drive all his way to get beat. Well, there might be a warrant at the state line. Oh, it could be. <laughs> John Bell, we'll see you at the next Outlaw Fuel Altered Association race. But today, it's all about do that. Thank you, man. Thank you all for coming out.